Malungi tutao belau, malungi tutao everybody that is uh, tuning in or who are listening and those who will be tuning in. So uh, today is a very first day for uh, the Straight to the Heart Ministry uh, with uh, Jesus Talk uh, for today and praising him and giving him thanks. Uh, I will just explain a little bit and then continue with the program, right? The reason why we, we made it possible, uh, God made it possible for us to be talking on the radio today is to give thanks to his son, Jesus Christ, and to be able to have hope, love, joy, uh, and many fruits of, of the kingdom of God through the power of the Holy Spirit so that we are able to share uh, the goodness of God each and every day. We do need it. We do need it here in Palau. We need it wherever God allows this, this talk show to go because there is someone out there. There are families out there. There are people out there. There are leaders out there. There are soon to be leaders out there that need and want to be enlightened by the scriptures and, and by just testimonies. So today, <clears throat> I have my sister, my sister Ripka Kintaro, who lovingly and uh, courageously <laughs> uh, agreed to come and join me to give glory, give thanks, and just talk about how amazing our Lord Jesus Christ uh, is in our lives, in our family life. And, you know, at times, it's going to be a struggle, eh? like, uh, uh, because we're going to... We're going to talk about things that, you know, that what she, she saw during my hard times or, or but there, where God was always there to guide her to be bold, to, to speak up. And there are families, many families that need to, to understand uh, how to help uh, a family member who's uh, going through challenges of uh, depression, anxiety, PTSD. Uh, addiction, uh, broken, broken relationships, abuse, physical, emotional, uh, mental, sexual, uh, many, many things. So that's the, the point of this talk show, is to come out and, and talk about the many things that are, are hardly spoken about. And to give hope, you know. So yes, our government is doing it, our church is doing it, but now we have to, as individuals, stand up. Palauans, stand up. All elderly people, stand up. Young generation, stand up. Stand up to be able to testify about the goodness of God in families, in friendship, and in, in the government, uh, uh, in the, yeah, the workplaces, private and government, mm -hmm. amen? Mm -hmm. So, but every time, before we start any program, Mm. We want to give thanks by giving, by praying and allowing God mm. to take over this talk show. Uh, for it is written in the Bible, where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in our midst. Mm. Okay. Pacific Islands and many other countries. Amen. Amen. You didn't know. You didn't know that I could. Uh, I can uh, speak a little bit. Below. <laughs> we gotta improve. We gotta improve. So wherever you are, let us give thanks and praise. Uh, so we're gonna sing, Ripka. My sister. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's Monday. It's Monday. <laughs> Give life to the world. Let's go. <laughs> bring the joy of the Lord to, to people, whether we're ready or not. I think you bring joy, not me. <laughs> <my singing. laughs> so, go for it. <laughs> wherever you are, I hope that you give us this time to be able to sing. Praise and <clears throat> share the word, huh? Amen. Mm -hmm. So this is Talbalula Ad uh, with Malo. Oh, this, yes. 
let's let's praise the Lord. to start the, the week huh? so it is written in uh, uh, Psalm 100 verse 4 it says enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise give thanks to him and bless his name that's what we're doing sis that's what we're doing as a brother and a sister coming together on live radio just giving praise to our Lord mm. Jesus Christ in what he has done. Mm. So that's why I, I really wanted to also bring you because we are wo both witnesses of uh, knowing this, about the same thing, mm. being, be, like, you know, being raised in the same family mm. and going through many challenges. <laughs> <laughs> many. <laughs> many, huh? Yeah. And, but yet here we are yes. today, mm. you, in your, uh, in, you in your workplace, mm. dealing with a lot of mm. uh, challenges in mm. And dealing with people mm. who have many challenges, mm. and uh, I'm blessed. We are blessed to be able to have you here because mm. 
when you first started becoming uh, studying for what your your job description right? <laughs> my field your field yes and uh, and then uh, coming to Palau and then mm. having a brother mm. brothers mm. That, uh, with their own character character uh, characters yes. that are struggles and joys and you yes. know so yes. today uh, I'll give you a, a little bit uh, of time to mm. introduce yourself to people who are out there who are listening a lot of people know you by the way so. yeah. yes <laughs> Yeah. Palau is small. Palau is small. We and all know the, each other. And that's the best thing about it. Uh, good and sometimes good and not challenging. so much. Yeah, challenging. <laughs> challenging. It's a yeah. challenge. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you want your privacy. <laughs> yes, yes. But uh, I want to ask you a question. How's your, how's your journey with uh, the Lord and how has the Lord been shaping your, your, your life? In Ooh, you know, <clears throat> like, I only have one way to describe it. I went to a retreat once when I was in college in up in upstate New York, uh -huh. and um, I went to uh, uh, talk to a priest, and I asked him, what's wrong with me? I don't feel like I'm doing so good, and mm. I don't feel like I'm doing bad. Mm. Why do I feel restless and something's missing? And this, I think, so far, by far, the best description I've ever gotten about our faith journey. Mm. The priest goes, you know, Ripka, it's not always like this. Not always our, upwards. Yeah, right? It's not, you know, in our faith journey, it's not about going up, up, like, just like life. Like, our faith journey will have up and down, and, down, mm. and then you'll have those straight lines just, which I think you're feeling right mm. now it's just stagnant and you're just like mm. stuck and you're stuck. you're just trying to find like where are you going mm. and the fact that you're here doing this retreat giving service to the people of this mm. community yes I think this is you on your journey continuously finding so finding your way so right now <laughs> in my faith journey I've been here, I'm here, but it's been like up this and, down, huh? and straight and up and down and straight. So, uh, especially, you know, just past Thanksiving just finished. Uh -huh. uh, time for gratitude and then my birthday's coming up. Coming up the 29th, right? Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're reflective of life and the year that's passed. Amen. Like, So I'm just right now, I'm at a place where I'm just grateful for every little thing in my life. Mm. All the people, the work. The fact that I even have a job to mm. to to support myself and mm. my family. Your uh, family, that's a good thing. That's oh my goodness. Family. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, and especially in the work that I do, like yes. when I see a lot of families or individuals that can't even, that struggle, not can't even, they struggle. struggle. They have challenges. Struggle yes. with the basics. You know, it's just, we take a lot. We take so much for granted. And, you know, like I always it's okay one of the when you first invited me to come and uh come and join your show <laughs> i was laughing because one of the things that i was thinking about was like wow you know this is where our conversations at the house at the table at the dinner table mm, yes. or like the weekends where we're just sitting around the porch with auntie blandine or mom or you know papa during the time he was yes. still around it's crazy how we talk about faith we talk about life and now <laughs> We're talking about it on live so that we can... On the you know, radio. Yeah, on the radio. And on Facebook. And on, oh, Facebook. I'm not on Facebook, but yeah. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's crazy, but it's amazing um, that you've come so far. Oh, by the way, I want to let everybody know that uh, my brother Jacob uh, did this all on his own. He worked hard to make sure that he gets this slot every every uh, uh, last payday, last payday month. monday of the <laughs> month so that he can come and just share hope and give love in god's and just have a platform for god mm. like who does that uh, uh, the holy not, spirit they, who says, there you go the holy spirit <laughs> not many not many people are courageous enough to do that and and passionate and 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 so generous to mm. to do that you know, everybody in Palau knows you're the you're the salesman of fish, huh? <laughs> <laughs> number one salesman of fish. Um, Tage doesn't uh, do all this to buy himself things, material things. 
Jagger does this so that he has um, he doesn't he doesn't work, but this is his work. This is in, this, this is his income. Yeah, yeah, this he does yeah. this to provide for his two sons, or well, yeah, his sons, uh, what he can, and yeah, to of course his basic needs. And then when I found out that he did this to secure slots to share love to the world, I was like, wow. God is you, you. Uh, I thought I was a generous person, but this is just this is just amazing, Chagi. So, I was thinking about. It, I was like, wow, from the from our dinner table at home to this table here, this radio station to share this love and this passion and this faith mm. to the world. You know, you you continue to surprise me and inspire me. Amen. And God, motivate God me. Is, uh, God is and so good. also, one thing about my faith was it was really, I, I kind of thought about it again. I was like, wow, <clears throat> in our family, um, especially with my brothers and my dad, <laughs> my mom and I were the ones usually like reminding the, the guys, hey, go to church. Go hey, to church. <laughs> don't forget to pray. Hey, don't, you know, when, when yeah. Growing up, that was that was me and my mom doing mm. that for my dad and my brothers, yes. um, and then especially when you were going through your hard drugs, time, your the drugs, that the that PTSD that that and, phase of your life, yes. <laughs> um, we just had to really dig deeper and into really our into our faith yes. and and just like really buckle ourselves up the storms that the, came. The, the storms <laughs> that came was just like uh, whoo uh, one of the 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 biggest that our mm. family has ever experienced and so the fact that we were able to push through and really heal and continue, continue. to learn and and Amen. share that experience Amen. is really i think in the i think you got the best part of it because you not only recovered and healed you just I don't want to say blossom. <laughs> you, you just like, you just, you just came, came out, out of the shell. You came out. No, not even the shell. You came out like a fire, like the fire yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Just like, mm -hmm. just, just, just wanting to, to, to spread. And, and I think I've mentioned it in the past talks that you, uh, before the drugs, you were just like an amazing person, most generous, most loving, most upbeat, most happy, and most protect, like you always protected us. Like mm. We were so sheltered, my brother, my younger brothers and I, so well protected and loved by you. And when that happened, we kind of lost that, yes. that, that foundation that we, we, we felt, yes, yes, we felt growing up. And so on. you coming back like this, this is the Chage that we grew up, the big brother that we know, and even more now so, mm, amen. even more so. So why do I mention that? It's because before I was the one always talking to you about faith and church and God. Yes. Now you're the one reminding me. <laughs> My big brother is the one reminding me, hey, how are you? Are you praying? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I'm like, wait a minute. Why have the tables been turned? Turn. Yes. And, and you're constantly sharing your stories. Your, yeah. I swear, people, if we <laughs> tell you guys all the stuff that Chage goes through on a daily basis, it's just amazing. Yes. One day I'm hearing about him singing in jail. Another day I'm hearing his voice next door at the hospital. One day I'm being asked, like, hey, is that your brother selling fish? <laughs> I'm just like, this man is all over the place. But everything that he's doing, there's a purpose and it's intentional. And one thing that you really inspire me now is just like everything is for the glory of God. Everything is in the name of Jesus. And yes. and and I think this is another phase of our lives where like, you know, like especially as a family where we yes. we had to kind of get used <laughs> to this, adjust to this new chage. And, it, you know, adjust. yeah, like any change, it's uncomfortable. So even our family, we went from a uh, major storm to healing and recovery. And then just like this great blessing of chage, finding God again and just being like this amazing warrior, mm. <laughs> a warrior God, of God. God is, is using us. Um, um, and then we had to adjust to that, and then uh, because we're all very different in our characters, mm. like you mentioned, and our faith journey. Amen. So, but I do know one thing is that 
we are just so blessed to have each other I'm and blessed. most especially to our parents and our grandparents who really paved the way for us for and us, yes, they exactly. paved hey. there's that prayer or that quote that like our mother's prayers basically oh, saved amen. us and that's, that's know, the thing and, that we want to share to, yeah. to Palau is that you know mothers parents your mm. prayers are heard in the heavenly mm. kingdom and mm. what my sister is here sharing with you not only we we see the love of of the mother and the father you know even though uh there's struggles but still they the, the one of the most amazing gift that they gave us sis is prayers right yes. they, they, they are a gift to us and we are gifts to them because mm -hmm. because of us they pray and because of them we pray <laughs> right <laughs> so um, you know what one thing that uh, this talk show is about is to testify mm -hmm. to testify all dance Jesus Christus we have to because if 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 uh, only the churches do this, or only uh, people who are, uh, are in certain position can, are going to do it. But then what happens to the rest of us? Each and every one of us have that experience with God through mm -hmm. challenges and joys. Mm -hmm. huh? and, and I want to mention one thing is that your faith journey is nobody else's mm, responsibility. Yeah. So we can't blame the church. We nope, can't blame we can't. Uh, the leaders. Nope. We can't blame can't. because they're not the ones on your faith journey. Yep. And, and, and that was one thing I was like, you know, sometimes when we're out and about talking about our relationship with God and mm. like the, the, the journey that we've been going through, we, we have uh, the spectators that criticize the critics you <laughs> know are... <laughs> it's like hey the person ain't no holy person that's not a person it's like nobody is nobody, perfect nobody's perfect um, only jesus yes only jesus yes. is perfect and so but this is uh it's ringing oh sorry <laughs> i've heard i've i've had friends and family members say like i don't go to church because i don't it's all a bunch of hypocrites and mm, that's a, mm. those are so I'm I'm always sad I, I get sad when I hear that and that kind of attitude <clears throat> because what I always say in return is like you don't go to church for those people you go to church for, for you for or you Jesus. go or you, you go, pray you go, you go pray yeah. for you you pray you, you go pray for you and and we don't go to church or gatherings to be looked at and to be assessed and to be rated or anything. Mm. We're there as a community praying together. You know, you, do you know that that's biblical? Yo! Let me share with you. Everything is biblical. So so there's this, uh, there's a, a tax collector mm. and a, and a, uh, a rich man. Mm. Huh? So this is one. It's in one. Of, it's in the gospel. It says about Jesus was telling telling his disciples about these two different people. One, one is going and he's praising, and they're in the in the in the church. And the, the rich and the, the the person who says he's righteous is like, uh, Lord, uh, I'm I'm so happy that I'm not like that tax collector. Look at him, mm. like you know, like because. Uh, and he's talking about the tax collector and his ways and his sins and whatever it is, right? Mm. And then here we have the tax collector who's there and he's like, Lord, sorry for my I'm sorry for what I'm doing. I, mm. I, I, I want to know you. Mm. I, you know, he's coming with his whole heart. Yes. So that's exactly what you're, yes. you're, you're talking about mm -hmm. is that when we go to church, we don't go to church for anybody. Mm -hmm. We go to church because we as an individual we have a purpose. Mm -hmm. We have, we have this uh, mission mm -hmm. that we're here on this earth, mm -hmm. and that's what we're trying to share with everybody who's uh, out there listening. Mm -hmm. No matter what situation you're going through, please understand: if your brother is uh, using drugs, mm -hmm. or an alcoholic, or have PTSD, or suicidal, or mm -hmm. depressed, or ang uh, has anxiety, or whatever it is, be like my sister who who. <laughs> Who came and and even though she's younger, huh? but she came and she's like uh, Jacob. Well, actually, they don't call me Jacob; they call me Chage. And said, "Hey, get you need to get straight. get your act straight. You need to because you're." And she had to tell me. She had to say 
all these these hurtful, hurtful truths. Truths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hurtful <laughs> truths. I got toy el marang, yered el malogoy. We have to talk about what individuals are doing, but we don't attack this person himself or mm. herself mm. because God loves the sinner, not the sin. Okay, so why we, why 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 are we doing this? Because if God can take our family, <laughs> our family has many challenges, many brokenness, mm. but yet. When we talk about him, when we, we sing about him, when we, you know, yes, we're sinful people. We, we, we struggle. We, but yet, because of Jesus Christ, we are able to step up to him and ask for forgiveness because he's the one who forgave. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So many times me and my sister, huh, we argued. <laughs> like, hey, every sibling. Yeah. Every sibling yeah. do. So... I ask that if you're out there and you're arguing with your your sibling, or if your if your brother or your sister is is, is struggling and and they're they it seems like they're the they're they're the terrorist of the family. Please pray for them because in prayer, God will move. Mothers, fathers, many. Many of us, we worry about our children. We worry about our nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. Pray. We have, to, we have to turn away from the worries of this world mm -hmm. and come to God. Mm -hmm. And how do we get to know God? By Jesus. Because Jesus, he died on the cross. He chose the cross. You remember he was in Gethsemane mm -hmm. and he said, Father, take this cup of suffering away from me. But no, wait. Not my will, but your will. So he chose to go to the cross and to be whipped and to be spat on, to be mocked, to be Spirit. laughed at, to be to, yeah, to, to be speared, to be, to be, you know. These are the things that we have to speak about because our Lord Jesus Christ loves each and every one of us. And, and then, here's the thing, huh, uh, sis. A lot of times we wonder, as a nation of Palau, mm -hmm. do we have any kind of influence in this whole entire world? Mm -hmm. I tell you, yes. Of course. Because why? Because in the Bible, it says, the gospel will reach Jerusalem. And even into the into the Samaria, into the Gentile areas, and into the most remote islands. Right now, the most remote islands is Sanserol and Toby for Palau, and we already have Facebook. So guess what? <laughs> if Jordan or uh, who's in Sanserol? Uh, Tiffany. Tiffany or any of those people, uh, any Marway of in Mar Marway in Ratobe, <laughs> if they can, if they're gonna hear this, guess what? Fulfillment of prophecy. Yay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Fulfillment of prophecy. Even, even into the most remote islands. Let me, let me share. We, we have to take a boat every mm. three or four months, sister. Mm. And then go. Go to these places. But now Facebook is bringing... <laughs> They're up to date. They're up to date. Happening in Koror and the world. Not just Palau. Not in just the Palau. World. They know what's happening yes. in the other big countries, small countries. They're watching YouTube probably. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> so we are here today to share love of a brother and a sister. Check, I have a question. Yes. So we have each other. There are families out there that don't have mm. each other or yes. don't even have moms and dads yes. that are good role models mm, or at good least role models. giving mm. teaching them the faith and the yes. way. Um, the reason why I mentioned that it's our own responsibility mm. and to take it on and because we can't be blaming people around us mm. for what we don't have. Yes. 
but I mean, we just need to open our hearts mm. because remember you, you didn't really have your turnaround, even though we were praying around you and just, you know, smothering you with love <laughs> and care and protection. Yes. But it was only when your heart changed for mm. God that the real changes happened Amen. in our lives. Yes. So even with, the, I just wanted to make that clear because like even with a strong foundation, mm. Your faith journey doesn't necessarily is it, it's not necessarily there until you, you yourself, yourself yes. the individual makes Amen. that happen make ah, that happen yes. for yourself. And then it connects with everybody else's. Yes. And so because the reason why is because not a lot of us are fortunate to have moms and dads yes. or siblings. Brothers, and sisters, brothers and sisters, sisters that, you know, protect one another, yes. love one another yes. the way that we have we, we have been yes. blessed. To, we are blessed. We yes. are very blessed, and, that, and I think that those are some of the things we always talk about at the house. Yes. Uh, our brothers. Uh, one of the reasons why we're very close and very, um, very close, and just like the way that we are, is because mm. we recognize and acknowledge that we have been blessed, and not many are fortunate. And this is a gift from God that we have been blessed. So we need to share it. To and others. we need to protect, and we need to care, yes. and we need to stay. Godly yes. relationships. Yes. yes. And in order for us to continue, I mean, for us to share that outside, we have to also nurture each one other, another, yes. one another, and support one another in our faith journey. Because then, I don't know, but I feel like all of us are servants in this. We in are some servants. kind of service. So we are. There we, we are. are. I guess. <laughs> I guess that is the gift and the calling. And here we are out there, out here, just sharing this love that we've been so blessed with and this gift Amen. of family. So for those of you who do not have this, like it's not, it, it's not just family. It's also it's it's really you. And opening your heart to God. Amen. You yes. opening up your heart to God. That is very true. Yeah. And uh, so talking about uh, people who who do not have uh, mm. uh, siblings or mothers, or mothers fathers. or fathers or mm. or role models, right? Mm. Here in Palau and wherever, like Saipan, mm. because just so you know, Ripka, there are people in Saipan, Guam, FSM Islands, mm. and all those that are uh, already uh, tuned, like they're. Yeah. Uh, they're they're going to be tuning in in Jesus mighty name <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, here's the thing uh, like what I, I, uh, you you really said it perfectly it's an individual journey that is one of a kind and uh, in order for you to really find out how unique and one of a kind that journey is mm. you must truly Come to know Jesus, mm -hmm. and how? What does it mean to come to know Jesus? It means to surrender. It means to mm -hmm. to let go of the things that you know and the trauma. Trauma is what always keeps us in the past. Yes. Okay. So, so whoever you are out there, and you find yourself always just living in the past mm -hmm. or talking about the past, mm -hmm. there's trauma in mm -hmm. that in that uh, in that. Uh, uh, that you need to let go and how do you let go it is through jesus christ and and uh, it is uh let me see where it does it says uh okay so when we come to 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 jesus he's the he's the bond breaker he's the he's the bondage breaker mm. okay mm. because before jesus came we were all uh we were all held in in captivity by by this world and this the ways of this world right so when when jesus came he died for our sins for everybody those who love him and those who do not love him now that the thing about it is we must humble ourselves mm. we must let go of the worldly desires and fleshly desires mm. and how do we know what, how do we know these things we go to the Bible, and, and you as an individual, it is your responsibility. Yes. If you cannot do it, guess what? You have brothers and sisters who are, who are out there, mm. who are willing to share with you the gospel. Yes, amen. Huh? And 
the, the, the part here, I, I, wrote, uh, I wrote some, some things. Huh? I see. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the, 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 the points of to the talk show. Here's some, some things I want to share to you okay. and to the people here in, uh, that, that are listening. One, to clearly present the gospel. Are we, who are we to present the gospel? We are people who are living a life that God reveals himself to us in relationships. Mm -hmm. That is the gospel. The gospel is the relationship with God. We have to keep it as simple as, as if, a, if a six year old can understand it, anybody can understand it. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're supposed to share the gospel. It is spiritual. But God makes it so simple that it blows over people's minds sometimes, many times, because they, they think we're too smart. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're like, and then that, that's what God says. Yep. Lean not on your own understanding, Same. but lean on mine. Yes. Because he is the all-knowing God. He is the beginning. He is the now. He is the forever. Mm. So <clears throat> it is to show the people that God loves them, no matter what mm. situation you're in. Like my sister. She, she, <laughs> she saw me in my darkest times, <laughs> but yet she showed me love in the way that she was created to show love to me mm -hmm. so that I was able to, to overcome. And one, one of it was denial. I, you kept saying, Stop. once you get over the, the, the denial of, because uh, I, I kept saying, no, I'm not addicted. <laughs> Get over yourself, <laughs> and, you get over and, yourself. And, come, and, and come to terms with the fact of who you are right now, then we talk then again. We talk. <laughs> so I turned myself into uh, uh, to behavioral health. And just so you know, I want to share with everybody out there, mm -hmm. this behavioral health that we have, mm -hmm. that is a place where I went to. And I can say that they really helped me out a lot. The nurses and the, the nurses, the doctors, the people. Mm. The, I mean, if you're struggling with addiction, if you're struggling with anything, and your mental uh, challenge is is that you're thinking negative, you're depressed, you're you have PTSD, you you have many things that you you and your family, you as an individual, has have to come to grips with the reality that you need help, and that's what my sister told me, and I had to overcome that. And, and now, I truly, find, I truly know that even in those dark times, God loves me, still loves me. Yeah, so Man. whoever you are out there and you feel that God doesn't love you, God loves you so much. Mm. He loves you with all his heart because he gave his life for you. Amen. And he says that, please, come, for he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And I mm. want to share with you and all the individuals out there, you as a Palawan, you have a great calling. Your calling is to share the word of God here in Palau because we were planted here in Palau to make the name of Jesus Christ be glorified, magnified in such a way that generations before have never seen it. You as an individual have that, have that gift, have that way of speaking. And how do you glorify God? Like what you just said, sis, in the beginning. You're like amazed, like, how is my brother doing this? How? But let me, let me share with you. Mm. It is not me. Amen. It is not me. It is the freedom that was given to me by our Lord through his death and the appreciation of his, of his sacrifice and then not of what he does, but who he is. So I want you all out there to come to know Jesus Christ much, much more intimately. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I can give you testimonies after testimonies, but it has to be you because you're the one who have to come and testify. Well, he said something. <sighs> you know, I was just thinking, if we could take a moment and stop just thinking about all the problems of the world. Yes. We could just take our eyes off of, off of that mm. situation, Amen. that that darkness, that and, and like you said, let go and let God. Let go and let God. I think those are also <laughs> it's a it's a mindset and it's a yes. it's a practice. It's a, a practice. It's a practice that needs 
lots of Jesus, lots of prayer and 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 yeah, look at how far you've come. I, it, it just it just came to my life. Okay, because no seriously, because you know people are like complaining about prices and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> So and, 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 and the struggles and the challenges, <laughs> challenges, 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 challenges. And, you know, that just, when you're talking, you just made me think like the eyes are on the problems. It's so focused on the problems and it's not putting it up there. God, help me. Amen. God, um, how can I do this? Amen. God, uh, show me the way. God, I'm tired. God. I, I, this is hard, but I'm grateful. There's, there's something I, you, yes. got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta show me. And I think that's the, the, the mindset. Like when we're so, this is a mental thing too. But anyways, we're so focused on all the problems in front of you. Like instead of like, you know, taking a moment and just. And I think, yeah. <laughs> God cast, sent uh, this is he says, cast your worries onto mm. him. And he just uh, even uh, even uh, I I um, see. Oh, oh, oh. And I used to think you and Uncle Lishan were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there is no. Uh, and actually, our 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 whole family. <laughs> this is a, like how can these men just say there is no problem in the world? There are problems. How can they just say give it to God? But there, uh, to this day, it works. It happens. And you guys are a walking, living testimony of that amazing faith and, and just that practice. And you, you said freedom. 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 And I think that's the one thing that <clears throat> we also forget a lot. It is our freedom. And God gives us that choice. freedom, that choice. Mm. And you choose. You choose the hard way or you choose the God way. Yes. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> God's way is hard. Yes. But it's hard, but there's that peace, that feeling of peace, mm. even when you're going through the trials, because you just know that God has you. And Amen. that's a, a God mindset. That's Amen. a God-centered mindset. Yes. And goodness gracious. Now so, you're... <laughs> so I want to share, <laughs> I want to share something about the Holy Spirit. Mm. So a lot of times, and I, I, wait, uh, I, I like the part where you say, mm. let us not attack because we're not about attacking, okay? Mm. One of the mindset that I hope that uh, many churches have mm. uh, is that we must come united under the banner mm. of Jesus Christ, talking about the kingdom, mm. talking about the love, the strength, the joy, and then, of course, talking about repentance. Mm. Very important. Yes. We have to speak about repentance. And what is Repentance. It's that mindset, change of mindset of not wanting. What is these things that uh, worrying about money, uh, worrying about uh, 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 putting uh, another person uh, to be our God? Meaning, mm -hmm. we think about them, we we serve them, we we have to serve God. Your job, your, your job, materialistic things, your time. Your, what, what are you investing? Time. Your time. Hey, uh, time. <sighs> what are you investing your time? So, sis, the Holy Spirit is the one who will come into your life, who will always allow you to to keep Jesus centered. Huh? Mm -hmm. So here's Second Corinthians. I'm going to go to Second Corinthians uh, 3. Uh, Second Corinthians. Where is Corinthians, where are you? <laughs> so Second Cor Testament, I think. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Second Corinthians, here it is. Yeah. So uh, uh, please bear with me because uh, Second Corinthians uh, 3. 17 to 18. 3, 17 to 18. It is written, now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord, there is freedom. Mm. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So this is the important thing, is for us to truly speak of the gospel of Jesus Christ, that Jesus came to show us how to live. 
mm-hmm. how to to choose God. And then now, when he left, he told the disciples, "I must leave. It is better for you that I leave." And then, and then, uh, when I go, the Father will send the Holy Spirit, who will be your uh, 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 what do you call that? Uh, he will he will he will be your helper. He will be your uh, he will allow us to to become fruitful. And that's what it says in the beginning in the Old Testament. It says, be fruitful and multiply. There are many challenges here on this, in, this, uh, uh, in this world that are challenges. Mm. But what God wants us to be is vessels that he will use to become fruitful through the power of the Holy Spirit. And then we are to share it. Not to hold on to it, because yes. when you hold on to things, you cannot receive more that God can, and that's the kingdom way. Right. Amen. Mm-hmm. Oh, so we have a caller here. Oh. Yes, uh, I guess. Uh, oh, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Caller on the air. Okay. Uh, Ali, hello. Praise God for you. I want to... Tell you to read a Psalm chapter 37, verse 6. That's God of blessings to you, Jacob. Bless God, praise God, because I know you now. I know you are the best. Now you is now. Read the Psalm 37. Verse 6, that's blessings to you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. We receive in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm going to read uh, Psalm 37, verse 6. For it is written, He will bring forth your righteousness as the light, and your justice as the noonday. Amen. As the light. We are. We are so blessed, and thank you, caller. Thank you so much for the blessing of uh, of prayer. For all the words in in here are words of prayers, words of promises, and words of of faithfulness of our God in His relationship with us. Sis, I know you've, uh, there's times that you're like, I've never seen my brother in full blown uh, uh, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, uh, sharing of the word, huh? but this is a little bit of it because. Uh, uh, one of the things that I, I, I have to share is the importance of us coming to God right now. And how do we come to God? We have to come to God through understanding Jesus, knowing Jesus individual. Giredel mo madangaling ka Jesus. Giredel mo madangaling ako the lel ma resurrection ng i. Giredel mo madangaling giyang argir. Dong okra bitara Dios el Adam. That in itself, we always say he will come to judge the living and the dead. And we are here to share the word that, yes, there is hope in Jesus. Yes, we must turn to him. Yes, come now. Yes, there is freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. But we must do it now, for it is written, if you hear the word of God today, harden not your hearts. Why? Because your tomorrow is not promised. So what does that mean? It means forgive. Forgive your brothers. Forgive your mothers. Forgive your father. Forgive your sons. Forgive your daughters. Forgive your cousins. Forgive your enemies. Forgive. For forgiveness is the first step into freedom. And it is through the power of the Holy Spirit who will make this possible. Nobody else can make you, you forgive. They can help you. <laughs> That's all. It's your heart that it's, needs to yes. open up. Open up. Yes. Since I'm, I'm so blessed by a mother. We are so blessed by a mother. <laughs> we are so blessed by a mother yes. who is prayerful. We are yes. so blessed by uncles and aunties. And, mm. and, and like you said, there are many other people who don't have that. Yes. But I will tell you, you are not alone. Yes. We are telling you, me and my sister here. Yes. You're not alone. If you're suicidal, that is the devil who is a liar who's telling you everything that is not true. Mm. If you're depressed, mm. that are things that are 
that, are, that is uh, bonded to you because of an agreement you made with, in the spiritual realm that has to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. And you need brothers and sisters who understand these spiritual ways of moving around and, and fighting because we are in a battle. There's wars in Ukraine, there's wars in, in Israel, there's wars in there. But let me tell you, there's war inside of us between good and, good and bad. There's a war going on in you. The devil never rests. He wants to take you out. You have a purpose. You as a Palawan man, you have a purpose. You are meant to lead. You are meant to speak up. You are meant to teach the younger generation to be fishermen, to become better builders, carpenters, or, or something that is manly that God has made you to be able to do. You as a fisherman, you're meant to teach the younger generation how to fish for themselves. Women, you are meant to teach how to love, how to nurture in a godly manner of the younger generation coming up. We must keep it all focused on Jesus, on God, because culture without God is a culture that be, will be lost. But a culture and a nation that is under God, truly blessed with the Holy Spirit, speaking through each individual's elderly and middle age and young generation, they will change this world by bringing the light. So, we are here as a brother and a sister. <laughs> Did I just go off? Uh, <laughs> no? We are here as a brother and a sister. Truly telling you that there is hope in, even in a broken family. Because we were broken and we still are broken in certain places <laughs> and, and God is still putting us together. Yes. Forever he will be putting <laughs> us together. So... Uh, I, I, uh, it's almost that time, sis, so I just want to read uh, uh, one more. Uh, 1 Corinthians mm. uh, 12. 1 Corinthians 12. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's not it. Oh, 1 John uh, verse 2 and 3. That's to testify. Why, why is it important to testify? Naramang mal important to testify. 1 John. 1 John, John 2, and two and three. 3. 2 and 3. 1 John 2 and 3. Okay, tag it. Can you, can you read? Please. No, two 1 and three. John. 1 John. Here's 1 John. Mm. 2 and 3. 2 and First 3. 1st 2 and 3. Yes. <clears throat> it is written. <laughs> the life was made manifest and we have seen it. And testify, and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the Father and was made manifest to us, that which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you, so that you too may have fellowship with us, and indeed our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, 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 Janice, can I have the Palawan uh, Bible? I'm going to read it in Palawan. I have a funny story, huh? so just to testify a little bit. I have a, I have a funny story. I, used, I always go to the hospital, and then I have the, the English and the Palawan Bible. Okay. And then I go in, and, and, and then I read the English, and then I read the Palawan. And then after months of uh, going to a, a certain individuals, right? And, and then I was like, hey, uh, do you want me to read in Palawan? And they're like, no. Oh. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, it caught me by surprise, right? I was like, and then I'm like, and then all of a sudden I realized, I must not make, uh, I, I, I must not <laughs> read clearly, right? But here's the thing, you know, to do it with all your heart. With all your, you just just do it and 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 learn and practice and do not fear. So and that's the that's the testi testimony that we we want to give you all is that do not fear, 
Do not fear the things of the unknown because God will take you into places that are beyond your understanding. Or even dream of. Uh, what's dream, Ripka? Anybody know what dreams uh, dream means? <laughs> so let me, let me read. Huh? Uh, 1 John uh, 2 and 3. Look, Selbol Sabel Moes Tal Klangar, Eagi Milsang, Magi Malagoy Ringi, Elo Iser Mew, Blagger Drelel, Ital Dara Lobangalel, Ulobangalel Klangar, Elo Lobang Lobangel, Adam, El Mel Old Ergid, Aigel Aigel Black Gimues Ermens, Agimo Subd Ermew Ringi. Mobam mobam kamam raklaw av edalo radalong alam kamam maadam mangalgela el Jesus Christus. We come together to testify and magnify the amazing love of Jesus Christ, who through the Father He showed us the Son, and through the Son we get to know who the Father is. Mm. It is through challenges when I went into the jail that I came to the Father. And then he showed me the Word of God, the Bible. And that's where I've been reading and getting to know who, who Jesus is. And before we close, you know, I know you, 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 you sometimes uh, uh, shy away from singing, but I'm led by the Holy Spirit to really sing this song. Lord, I need you, because we need God. We need our Lord Jesus Christ now more than ever. So whoever you are, where, whatever you're going through, stay strong and have faith. It's easier said than done, but you have us to continue to pray for you. Sis, would you want to give a word of encouragement before we, because we're about to close and before mm -hmm. we say, Let the music sing. Let the music? Ah. Let the music speak. Mm. Huh? Amen? So, oh, wait. Uh, wait, uh, let me turn it on. So, we're about to come to a closing. Happy birthday. Oh, yeah. Yes. So, uh, you know, in every platform, mm. we get to speak about Jesus, speak mm. about many great things. But we also have this opportunity to give thanks to to families out there who are having birthdays. So, uh, please. Uh, Happy birthday to our brother, Alan Bemar. He's our brother. And cousin, Marlene Theodore. Yes, it's their birthday. So if you know them, go to their Facebook and say happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but every day, we are given the opportunity to give thanks and praise. Mm -hmm. Enter into the gates, giving thanks and praise of our Lord Jesus Christ. All the good, the challenges, mm. the bad, mm. the ugly, mm. the confusing, we mm. just give thanks because when we give thanks and mm. when we focus, like you said, focus our mind on, on God, mm. He will show us the way. He will tell us the truth. Mm. He will show us the life <coughs> meant of how to overcome those challenges. But first of all, we have to come to this understanding that we need Jesus. We need God. So wherever you are, you're sitting in the office, you're in your house, wherever you are, you're not alone. You have people that are praying for you. So with this song, with this song, I want to just give thanks to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I need you. I come, I confess, yes, Lord, bowing here, I find my rest. It's right here, Lord. I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Yes, Lord, you are the one. This is where we go. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness.
for this blessing of opportunity to share your word. Lord God, you are the one who provides all. So we come before you, Lord, praying for all those who are in need of hope, those who need healing. Lord God, we pray for them, those who cannot pray those who feel that they cannot pray. Lord, we pray for them. We pray for our young generation, the children of Palau, all the foreigners that are in Palau. Lord God, protect them. Let your light shine upon them. Lord, we pray for all the nurses, the doctors, the police officers. We pray for our senators, our delegates, our ministers. Lord, we pray for our vice president. We pray for our leaders, our president. Lord God, let us not criticize but let us come together pray for him so he can make decisions and all the leaders for them to truly know that God is real and God is alive so that they can make bold decisions regarding our island to protect our children from the many ideas and many agendas that are coming from other places to take away their identity as Palauans so, Father God, bless our churches so the priests and the pastors will be filled abundantly with the Holy Spirit so that they can do what they are planted to do in those churches. Lord God, we pray for our churches to come 
united in the love of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we thank you so much for all the families that are out there sharing the gospel. We pray for the, those that are, are working their way to boldly speak together as brothers and sisters, speaking of the goodness of God. Parents encouraging the, their children to, to know their identity in Christ. And for the parents to know their identity as parents in Jesus Christ. Lord God, we speak the name of Jesus over those who are addicted to ice, those who are addicted to pornography, those who are drug dealers, those who are dealing things of the kingdom of darkness into these islands of Palau, Saipan, and all the Pacific Islands, Lord. We speak Jesus over them and their family, that members of their family will encourage and truly shine the light into their darkness for them to know that this path that they chose is leading to destruction and for them to repent and turn away from their wicked ways. So Father God, I thank you for everybody in this radio station. I thank you. We thank you for my sister and what she does and the families that are going to be brought to her so she can truly share her gift of love, knowledge, wisdom, that you will use her to truly be able to heal in the words of your promises, Jesus Christ, who is faithful and who is everlasting, who is the Alpha and the Omega, who is the Savior, who is the Lion of Judah, who is the Great I Am. Hallelujah, Jesus. So we thank you, Lord. Again, we pray for all those that have given this opportunity, sponsored this, this radio station, to be able, this program to be able to do what it's meant to do, to testify, to glorify, to magnify the name of Jesus. So we give thanks and we pray for their families too, Lord. Bless this radio station and the people in it, Bless the senator who owns this radio station. We thank you so much, Lord. And again, Lord, bless us as we continue to walk today and to be blessed with our eyes open in the spiritual gifts, joy, love, and many more. That is an individual experience of intimacy with our Lord Jesus Christ. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, getting to know the Father through Christ Jesus. And it is written, do everything, say everything in the name of Jesus, giving glory to the Father through Christ Jesus. We thank you. We bless you. We surrender in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Till the next last payday Monday okay. of the month. <laughs> Amen. Thank you.